And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Dragons. We're going to be playing a support dragons theme, playing some dragons with some support cards. We're going to have War Chefs, Mentor the Stones, and then Tarek. So we're going to have like a, a nice little aggressive mid rangey kind of deck with our Demacia cards. You know, the uh, common ones and twos of Fleet Feather Tracker, Bright Steel Protector, and War Chefs. And then get our opponent worried about our Fiora, our Mentor of Stones, our Taric, um, and all these kind of cards. And then, like while they're while they're worrying about these and trying to stabilize and everything, and we're controlling the battlefield with those, then we're gonna uh, come in with our top end of some big dragons that's gonna finish the games out for us. Screeching Dragon is definitely gonna be a really important one with having the Challenger. But even Involius Vox, I love Involius Vox of how um, whenever. We have our dragons kill another enemy. We're going to be creating more dragons in hand. So you know, like these Demacia decks, they can struggle with running out of cards. Well, Involius Vox will keep us getting more dragons. So that will keep us from running out of cards, probably. Um, and then same with, of course, the one Aurelian Soul at the top end, just to have that. Um, if, you know, like if the games do go long, if our opponent's stabilizing, we got this um, incredibly, incredibly powerful champion to be able to throw down in the late game and of course infinite mind splitter also we can't get through with whatever get rid of a couple of their big things so uh dragon top end um and we can even buff up the dragons even more with like our support cards mentor the stones being pretty awesome with screeching dragon um and so on we're gonna have a couple of zenith blades in here which are amazing with Tarek and also amazing with our dragons of giving them overwhelm great with radiant guardian also Give Radiant Guardian Overwhelm also, as long with Tough and Lifesteal and everything like that. Um, good removal, three single combats, three Concerted Strikes. So we'll have lots of ways for Fiora to kill stuff with the single combat and Concerted Strike. And then, of course, our Dragons, because of Involius Fox, we want them killing stuff as well. All right, so that's our deck. So we got Fiora Dragons. We're going to go play our five games over in Ranked. And then... Um, and then we'll be playing kind of two tier one decks. It's like we're playing like a, a tier one Tuesday kind of thing with Gangplank Sejuani and Endure Aggro. We'll be playing both of those. And then Adarius Harrowing, basically all Noxus splashing Harrowing. All right, I mean, this is a definitely a reasonable hand. All these cards are pretty good. We'll, we'll mulligan the Vox and the Concerted Strike. Of basically, you know, just mulliganing five plus cost cards. I like the concerted strike though. Round two. I think the answer is not. We don't really lose the mana. We'll be able to have the mana for Repost or whatever other spell afterwards. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. So I could go War Chefs and then Repost and kill that protege. But we're gonna just wait. And this is all gonna this is gonna be all about board control. Smell that? A bite to cook it. So we're obviously going with the Bright Steel Protector this turn. And so it's which one should I tell them that I'm gonna give this a barrier first, or should I tell them My shield is yours? There we go. By telling them about the war chefs. They go put the barrier over here. Now I know I don't get another Zenith Blade. But I still definitely think this is worth it. Making Fiora 4-5. It's going to be pretty difficult to deal with the 4-5 for them. I really want to kill the Protégé. Killing Protégé is just so much more valuable than, than killing their 3-2. Yep, yeah, the Mentor of the Stones will be great for Fiora, be great for Radiant Guardian. Yep, yep, yep. For the honor of 
Now, we're not killing Protégé through... Ranger's Resolve. That's just the way it is. Cool. Nice, the Mentor of the Stones on this Fiora already has the Overwhelm. Who does not know the name I think we just keep Riposte available. I guess we could go Bright Steel Protector, but... To the face. You call this a I think we just keep Riposte available. Have like Mentor the Stone, like War Chefs pump up Mentor the Stones, which, which pumps up Fiora. Ah, and Volius Fox, you're cool, but we're gonna have Mentor and Repost. Looking for trouble? It found you. Let's see. Oh, we'll go this way. Eat up, friend. Probably a pretty easy block here, but all right. There we go, Mentor the Stones, Fiora. Get that Overwhelm. As I expected. Yeah, a lot of other times we'll be using Zenith Blade as card draw. Especially with Taric, we can have it draw two cards. If you put a Daybreak, one that draws a card on, on the Taric, it will draw another card for you whenever you recast it. I kind of want to keep the Concerted Strike against Garen. I could definitely see Garen being a difficult card to kill. Alright, Radiant Guardian and Single Combat together. I'll be able to take down a Garen. The finest Demosian steel. Approaching the battlefront! Always two steps ahead. Reporting in. Yeah, I know I'm not getting the card draw in. Strike quickly, That like keeps them from attacking with with those. Potentially. I wanted I was thinking about like blocking one of the four fours with my Fiora and getting Radiant Guardian in play. I was definitely thinking about that. So I res I respond, I kill their bannerman. Yeah, that's that's the thing to do. I was thinking about like having Fiora maybe kill like a two one and then it levels up Fiora, but no, that's not the thing to do. This is the thing to do. Because of course with the Fury, Screeching Dragon goes up to being three health. Anyway. Ugh. I want to play Involius Vox, but I also want to play Flea Feather Tracker. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. We'll we'll just you know we'll get our tracker and play, but then we'll just play another screeching dragon. Good single combat. Uh, 
Basically, that single combat uh, killed my Fiora and kept their 2-1 alive. Still like where we're at. Go make some more dragons for me, Box. I'll make a dragon. That's the thing, it's not like our dragons don't have to stay alive. <laughs> we just get to create a new screeching dragon that is just so insanely good. I long for a worthy opponent. Well, right there, we wouldn't have had the, the lifesteal tough for that Radiant Guardian. Um. I was just going to pass turn, of course, and not attack, but that makes sense. I'm still at 20. We're going to take the 6. We're going to have our dragon fight this thing. Keep our Fiora alive. Go get a new dragon. <laughs> like this, this dragon was free anyway. We'll go get another free dragon. Nivolia's Vox is sweet. Free dragons. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. Right, my plan is Protector and maybe something dies and then I play Radiant Guardian. Well, something's going to die, but it's just going to be the opponent. And that's going to make us 2-0. Yeah, that's true. If there's, if there's more better dragons in the future, that's going to make Fox better. A wider variety of dragons. All Shadow Isles. I'm going to just keep this. I don't always keep five mana cards in hand, but we already have like our, our turn two, three, and four all already uh, covered up. Um, so Screeching Dragons could probably be pretty good. Shadow Isles deck with Callista, expecting a bunch of Mistraits and things like that. So like a bunch of board presence. And so we want to be able to control the board. And Screeching Dragon does a great job of controlling the board. Darn. I was hoping that they would be scared of Fiora and... Yeah, I was hoping they'd be scared of Fiora and then not attack. But they weren't. Mystical levitation requires wow. concentration. That's what Infinite Mind Splitter says. Alright, good single combat. That was weird. Okay, but that's going to be what we want. We're facing some weird decks today in ranked. We're in ranked, right? I could see this deck just going... I could see them going Ruination. I'm sure that's all they did on turn 5. I could definitely see them going Ruination. Let's hit them for the most damage. Huh. That's odd. I, mean, I don't even know if I play this thing. Still, I mean, I guess. Oh, Crimson Curator can make more Curators? Okay. Yeah, there's... 
There's that ruination. I very obviously ran into. Okay, let's see. Let's go... Gem. 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 Attack. So Glyphs... I'm basically trying to kill them through Grasp the Undying. Alright, we can kill them through that. Alright, GG's. So it should be announced today. Should be announced in about 42 minutes. Alright, Protector and War Chefs definitely... Yeah, I guess I just keep the Screeching Dragon also. It's just such a good card. Let's for Fiora Dragons. Gotta play Dragons. Dragons are a critical part of the Fiora Dragons combo. Surprising no block. What's the plan? We shoot them. You're covered. Taste the glory. Eat up, Brett. You'll pay for this. I'll sleep when they're dead. Alright, so the main problem is if they have more Lucians. For now, this is fine. The main problem is if they're going to have more Lucians. But for now, that's a good trade. Guess they're gonna have repost. Alright, they have repost, they repost my, my Fiora, whatever. Ooh, no repost. Cool. Ours is the one true light. Push back the darkness. Alright, so they do unfortunately have another Lucian, but hopefully we can challenge and kill it in the future. We'll take 8 here. Now I couldn't single combat the Lucian before he levels up because if I would have done it before Lucian leveled up then the then the Senna would have been a 5-3 with double attack and I really couldn't block the 5-3 with double attack. A delicious challenge. So I block here they get an additional attack. I long for a worthy opponent. Guess not. have spell they're going to use. Basically, no matter what spell, it's going to be a good one. Alright, so doing that gives them an additional attack, so that means that I'm probably just going to be blocking with this. War Chefs. Do have twice as many cards as they do now. My plan is Mentor of the Stones, Bright Steel Protector, and Genevieve. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Um, I guess I save Fiora. Fiora will level up. Honor guide me. 
crystals. Try me. Adventure the Stones with Fiora is pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm liking this Mentor the Stones Fiora combo. May our light shine forever. Rally? <laughs> uh, you can block. GG's. Four and O. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are we gonna get a five O today? This looks like the four of the fallen deck again. I, th I think we've played against five non-meta decks. I'll keep the spell cascade. Patch is not up yet. Could be about half an hour for the patch. So I think we want to go Bright Steel Protector this next turn so that we can have the two mana our two mana spells available. I know Mention of the Stones is great and all. It's nice having these spells available. I'll write my own story. Him. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Hmm. Right. Could get a free kill with a single combat, but these things aren't very scary. We don't really need to use a single combat on those things. Okay, maybe I should use single combat on those things. Let's go with. I kind of want to go Zenith Blade. I want to put it on. I want to put it on the War Chefs. Uh, because my 3 2 can just trade with stuff anyway. Rude. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Do I still get the Daybreak? Yay, I still get the Daybreak. Okay, cool. Because the other one was still Nightfall, so that makes sense. I'll stop you. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. You just keep passing and not doing anything. No one goes hungry. So, so. Protect House Law. Sturdy blades, custom made. No. Remember the fallen. I get that thing out of here. I, I mean, I like War Chefs. I like War Chefs of um, you know, being able to pump these things up and everything. I don't really mind that I just traded my Fiora away. We will not hesitate. Fourteen. So 
We both have four cards in hand. We have a better board right now. But we still have a better board and we have more cards. Planning on reposting this war shafts. Huh. Guess we could just repost over here. And then those can trade, and then war shafts has overwhelm, so it'll do five damage to them. No! Plus these four, so put them down to two. So, basically hoping for no harrowing at 10. Soldier, to me. This will be the dragon killing it, so the dragon will grow. G and G. That's a 5-0, y'all. That is a 5-0. Oh, we faced scouts the first game, right? Okay, so yeah, we played against scouts. That's a meta deck. Then after the scouts, we played for the fall in twice. We played a uh, mist wraith deck, and what was the other deck? Um, now Zenith is slow speed, so I can't do, I can't, I couldn't lead with Zenith Blade first, because if I led with Zenith Blade first, then they'd be able to go to attacks with their Scythria, and give all their things plus one, plus one, and fearsome, so I had to lead with the Concerted Strike. So anyway, so yeah, we didn't really play against the tier one decks, but I mean, you don't, you don't get to choose what you play against. So we, we beat everything that was across the table, 37 minutes <laughs> for that 5-0. Yeah, that was that was pretty awesome. Um, I liked all like there wasn't any cards that didn't look good. Tarek never never used. Hush we never used. Those are just a couple of cards we never had. It never used a really in soul. But there could be other games where they those cards work out. Um, we're not really that big of a Tarek deck. Tarek does give like that tough, which can be really good with with your challengers like like Fiora getting getting uh, getting that tough. And of course Tarek works well with a few spells: Repost, Zenith Blade, Pale Cascade. Um, so, you know, it's not, it's not all about the Tarek, but, uh, you're just kind of in there in that four mana slot. All right. So if you want to play some, if you want to play some support cards and some like mid rangey stuff and finish it up with some powerful dragons, give this one a try. Screeching Dragon in particular was amazing. Our cards that were amazing were War Chefs, Fiora, Mentor the Stones, Screeching Dragons. Those were like our all-stars throughout these and then single combat and concerted strike as far as the spells go those were our all-stars repost was also really good each time we had repost repost did a lot um it was a couple a couple of blowouts there with the repost anyway there we go that's fewer dragons those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well i'd appreciate that but thanks for watching this 5-0 for fiora dragons and i'll see you for the next video